we're back after a little bit of upgrade time and uh, a tiny bit of bench time. We got weapons that are upgraded. Uh, I got a new suit. So did Gethkarn over there. And we're ready to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm so all out of bubble gum. I do want some though. Let's go pick some up. I'm sure we'll find some here. I don't like that sound. Creaky ass elevator. Interesting that there's padding inside of it. Is an assembly station, according oh. to the controls. So we're here to assemble a codex. That makes sense. You want to tell me what the uh, fuck this is? No. According to this, we're here to assemble Rosetta. They cut her into pieces. Oh my god. Fuck this day. They sliced her up. Why? I don't know. But some of the pieces are already in the assembly. I think I see another piece over there. Uh, what the hell do we do with it? Well, there should be a receptacle that feeds that into the lab's cataloging system. Yep, over there. Okay, let me see if I can feed it in. I'll see if I can route that to the assembly station. Hold on. What in the hell? So, according to the records, you told me four more pieces. They were checked out of storage by Dr. Serrano. Well, there are three buildings in the facility. So if there are more pieces, they're either in one, or all of them. Most of the doors were locked down from what I could see. Yeah, well, you're in luck. Look what I found, a security pass. You wanna give it a shot? Hey, why not? Okay. Thanks. Find out what you can about how assembling Rosetta will create a codex. I'll explore the labs and recover the rest of the Rosetta slabs. What the fuck is is Rosetta a necromorph? Cause that is one freaky looking well chick. I guess Rosetta's female. I don't think it's a he or a she. I think it's more of an it. Joy. It is Okay then. It looks like there are three primary buildings in this facility. The one we're in now is biology. There's one for paleontology and one for geological studies. Which one should I check out first? Doesn't matter. Just be careful. <laughs> Why? You think there's something out there that wants to eat me? That's not funny. No. Isaac out. Hardy har har. Well, this is geology here. This is storage, but it appears to be locked. Where the hell did you go? Biology. Oh, Lord. I like my fast hands. Nice. Ugh, yeah, watch your step. I had wondered if we'd see this goo again. You 
Dude, do you hear that? You hear the sounds this thing makes? Yes. Please get it away from me. What? I want you to pet it. Pet it. <laughs> little friend say hello to your gooey friend fine I'll put him in the garbage ah. whoops brilliant <laughs> shall we <laughs> oh, right. hold on something tells me we're gonna need to do this so deploying gas gas pump offline Going in. Text log over Wait, there. You're not thinking we should mess with this sterilization system, are you? Maybe. Isaac, it's gas that eats your face. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? It's gas that eats your face. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm with Carver on this one. Fuck. Alright, hang on, text log. In the event of contamination, failure sterilization gas must be administered from the nearest sterilization booth. These airtight chambers will protect you from the highly corrosive sterilization gas. All unprotected biological tissue in the affected area will be disintegrated. It is important that the sterilization gas mixing station be maintained at all times. Your safety and the safety of those around you depend upon it. Okay. We're fucked. Well, it's apparently gas that eats your face. And puppy. on it. Burn it. Initiating sterilization sequence. Hey, looks like we're stuck in here. Oh, come on, look, it's working. Yeah. This thing's airtight, right? Uh, yes. Oh, shit. Come on, let's check it out. Mm hmm. You go first. Oh well, yeah, it did burn the shit out of everything. What do you know? Wow. What the Ooh. fuck is that on the wall? Hold on, there's an audio log here. Dr. Earl Serrano, that's Ooh. I now realize why the alien machine was rejecting our codex. The instructions were being garbled by the second set of DNA. The aberration. We found a new specimen today. A pure and intact specimen. Its DNA is completely pristine. And I have high hopes that this is the breakthrough we were looking for. I'm betting that's Rosetta. Mm -hmm. 
something they do pin it to a wall to investigate it? That's a guardian. Uh, oh! That's a guardian thing, fuck. Ooh, alien artifact over here. You should read that. Okie dokie. Personal log of Dr. Alexei Obrushev. I suppose the others thought it crude when I packed poor Pete Private Freeman to the wall and gutted him like a fish. Oh, so that, yeah. That was. Um, but I felt the point had to be made, and what clearer way to show the evidence directly? The aberrations observed in the private skeletal structure and the reorganization of his internal organs show unmistakable similarities to the specimens we fished out of the ice. The same force that twisted his corpse into a deranged killing machine is intrinsic to this planet's evolution. Further, everything appears to be linked to the signal carried by all markers. Even now, the signal can be traced through Freeman's body, making minute changes to his structure and causing his cells to continue living. This may explain how the specimens we found have remained in such excellent condition after two million years in the ice. <laughs> two million? Well... Glad you have that. Okay, pick Rosetta up. Or whatever piece it is over. I found another piece of Rosetta. I'm sending it your way. Which um which piece is it? Well, it's hard to tell from the cross section, but it doesn't look like anything I recognize. Okay, I'll get it prepped when it arrives. Sizzle, it's like bacon. You hear that too, right? Yeah, yeah, I hear the sizzle. Just making sure. No one should miss the sizzle of the bacon. That's not exactly smoky bacon I think I would want to enjoy. No. I hear you, you motherfuckers. Gun. Picking up all the loot. Inside. Testing. Testing. Hello, Isaac. I know you're out there. Crawling around. <laughs> you probably think I'm an overzealous crusader. I'm Someone gave Elton John the mic. Fuck. The of angry God. It's an easy conclusion to draw. I don't fault you for it, but you may be surprised to hear that I'm a man of science. A man of fact and reason, cause and effect. And soon, you'll understand that I'm right about everything. Your argument is invalid. You believe in a religion. Take that, our atheism. I know, right? 
Oh hey, I'll use this. Reaper barracks, huh? Optional quest. Let's do it. You think we wouldn't? Explosive module. Tasty. I think that's it for here. So is this the optional quest? No, this is still the main quest. I'm sure if we see a door that needs a key card, we'll know. Oh boy. The sound they make is what bothers me the most. Yeah, tell me about it. At least they drop a lot of shit. Okay then, guess we're going down. I don't know how to log over here. All right. Dr. Earl Serrano, status update. It is well known that the surface of all markers contain glyphs. No one is entirely sure what they mean, but they exist as a distinct language we attribute to the markers' creators. However, our deep dig teams are reporting the discovery of another set of glyphs, a new set, found on the structures we've uncovered below the planet's icy crust. Uh. I've ordered several artifacts sent up for closer inspection. If this is what I think it is, it could change everything. Uh huh. So we gotta get this out of this thing. <laughs> okay. So we just need to make it all diagonal. Yeah. Well, how the hell do you do that? It's rotating, I guess. These slices, are you sure this is Rosetta? Only one way to find out. Let's keep going. And here's the barracks. We're going to the barracks. Oh, yeah. Joy. Enjoy entering the barracks of the 163rd. Keep your ID visible. Got my ID right here. I bet they had access to some pretty cool toys. Let's take a look around. Test text log on the floor there if you want to read it. Okay. From General S. Mahad to... Christ. Somebody got chop happy. There are severed heads everywhere. 
Are you sure this is a good idea? If the bodies are still here, so is their stash of weapons. This is too good to pass up. Okay. Um. General S. Mahad, uh, Admiral M. Grave, RU 163rd Special Unit. If it's Bugs Base you're worried about, you won't have to worry for much longer. I'm taking half of them down with me into the planet once you get yourself dugs in. And as far as manners go, I didn't pick them because they play nice with others. There's a reason they're called the 163rd Reapers. These guys all cut their teeth doing wet work for us doing... Oh, during secessionist riots on Earth. They're the coldest bunch of killers you're ever going to find. And they're my insurance that nothing's going to go wrong. Oh, okay. There's an, it's an email back and forth, basically, where the Admiral's asking why they have... He, she basically has to bunk a bunch of assholes on her ship. There's another one right here, too. Uh, suit kiosk, huh? Text log. Private K. Myers. I did anything I could to get put on the mission to go to this frozen wasteland so I could follow the Reapers. It was my chance to get them to notice, and I wasn't going to let anyone stop me. After Private Freeman went missing, I became the new water boy. I scrubbed Reaper toilets, made Reaper beds, and cleaned Reaper guns, admiring the notches carved into the stocks of each beautiful weapon. I finally worked up the nerve to ask one of the Reapers if I could join their team. I was ruthless, I was determined, I was ready. He laughed at me just like my drill sergeant back at boot camp, then said I could join if I cleaned the toilets for a week with my bare hands, with no shower privileges in between. He said if I could do that, I'd have what it takes. What could I do? It was my dream. And he promised, so I did. I know how that's ended. Ugh. No! Text log? Yep. Your Private turn. Myers. So there I was a week later, caked in human excrement. My skin was broken out with sores, and I had gone the extra mile. I was ready. <laughs> I guess I should have seen it coming. They took my picture and sent it out to everyone at sea. They told me that the only way I'd become a Reaper is if every last one of them miraculously died, and I was the only one left who could take their place. Uh, then they sent me packing. I got demoted to working in the pits. I credit my determination and strong worth ethic for not giving up. Smasher, we have to run through. Joy. <laughs> Damage support. Yeah, scavenger bots waiting. Found something. What? Question is, can I get to it? Well, don't get killed. I'm trying not to. You found ping. Is there one in there for you too? Uh, all I see is that one. But Let's I see ping on the floor. Pick it up. It's ping! Okay. 
lying in the back there. Is there still one back there? Uh, there might be one for you, I don't know. Stasis it when it's like all the way out and see if it's there. No, there's nothing back there. So it was just one? Guess so. Because I don't see another ping. Intriguing. Um, don't go in there. Too late. Another circuit there if you have room. Hey, you're being really safe about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm paranoid, goddammit. Paranoid about it just randomly coming on. Yes. Yes, I am. And there was a circuit here somewhere. Of course. Did you get it? No. No, I did. Go. I'm sorry, I trust this game about as far as I can fucking throw it. Yeah. Why take that attitude too, but I can zombie. Marks? How many days they were fucking stuck in this room or something? Another more feeders or some shit? <laughs> no touch cards. None of that. Damn it! So hurt. Fucking thing dropped on top of me. And a fucking thing dropped on my back. Oh, I'll admit that gave me a little bit of a jump. Artifact here. From Captain Raymond Reed, R.E. Private Myers appealed to join the 163rd. When I look out across the yard, I see only weakness. The war with the secessionists has claimed our fiercest warriors and replaced them with children. Half of these pricks can't even hold a rifle, and the rest piss their pants the moment they hear one go off. If you want to make it in this world, not only do you have to be willing to kill, you have to like it. Private Myers is a tool, so it's only fitting we use him as one. Let's give him one week of solid abuse before we kick him out of the door. Maybe then he'll wise up and realize he'll never have what it takes to be one of us. Well then. They were indeed a cheery, charming, absolutely hospitality-laden bunch.